Hey guys, I'm working on a geode. I'm not going to show all of this because it's, <coughs> I'm sorry, it's a very long process to work on, you know, to do a geode and you're doing, you're messing with crystals and stuff and rocks and such and such. So I'm just going to do a couple with you, the crystals, and then we'll come back when I start to do the resin work. Um, this right here is just a cluster of like broken glass to look like crystal. Anyway, I probably just messed my view up. No, it's still good. So um, right now we'll just work Just on the center there. Like I said, I'm not going to do a bunch. Just want to show you the process. A lot of people do things differently. So, um, I used to, when I did the crystals on a geode, I would use a hot glue gun. But since then, I have discovered UV resin. And a magic sunlight. So, um, so basically I'm just, in, I'm just picking out some crystals to use. These have, um, holes in them. Some of mine don't, but sometimes when you get them like at Michael's on a strand, a string, you know, a bead string or whatever they do so you kind of want to put them somewhere where you're not going to see the hole i'm not going to worry about it too much because i'll be putting like um acrylic gems or diamond dust or you know glass glitter things like that so i'm going to do like a gold I don't know, maybe gold and orange-ish type of geode. I've <clears throat> never done one before, but I thought it might be cool to, and kind of summery, sunshiny. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So enough blubber. <coughs> um... So basically what I'm doing is I just put down I'm just going to put down a little bit of this UV resin just a dot and then I'm going to shove this on here I'm going to take my light and put it on There you go. It's stuck. And I don't have all them strands of stringy <clears throat> glue all stuck. Um, so some of them I'm going to want, you know, down. Oh, I did it again. I moved you right out. So some of them I'm going to want down. Some of them just lay flat. Maybe some going in like that, just to make them look a little bit more, uh, I guess, organic or whatnot. So yeah, the most time consuming is finding the right crystals. Um... I don't always fit perfect, but uh, 
but that's okay because it doesn't have to fit perfect. It just has to fit and stand long enough for the UV resin to dry. There you have it. It's stuck. See, so they're kind of going different, different directions. And I have like shiny ones and then there's some that are not shiny, just iridescent like that I will put like up in there. Oops. So I just get the bigger ones done first and then fill them in with the smaller things or the um, beach glass or whatever you want to put. I have a bunch of different stuff here that I may be using. See, this one kind of goes down, so I think I like that, but I think I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to let it sit down. And when you first start doing it, it doesn't look very geody. Is that even a word? I think it is. I think the um, resin artists community has decided that geody and geodish are both words. So go ahead and add that to Webster's Dictionary. Um, this one's kind of cool looking. So it looks like it will just lay. Uh, what if I just lay that one like sideways a little bit up against this one? Just let it lay there. Like that. This is a acrylic sheet that I got from Lole Vefe, um, Adriana is the owner to it. Um, it's the company that sells the, the mats and the big jumbo silicone mats and stuff like that. So she sells silicone cups and all kinds of stuff now. Um, these little cups here, you know, if you have extra paint, if you have extra glitter, you need a place to put little embellishments. They're very good for that sort of thing. <coughs> Those are, uh, on her shop too, but these are really cool. I'll show it to you afterwards because I don't know if you're in the shot. All right, let me, I moved it again, damn it. Okay, you're still there. 
All right, I'm just gonna do a couple more with you and then I'll finish it up off camera and bring you back when I'm doing the artwork with the resin. So let's find another one. I hope everybody is safe. I haven't been on very long or for a while. I had pneumonia and then I had pleural effusion. I had to get my lung drained. And then after that, after I was cleared with all of that, um, I had to make a trip to go see my grandson because with COVID and then the pneumonia and me being sick, it all was just a lot. And uh, so I wasn't able to do very many videos. And then when I went to Michigan, I didn't do any because I was spending time with my grandbaby, Remy. Uh, but the 21st of this month, he was already six months old. So with COVID started and then our cities were locked down, you know, like two months after he was born, boom, I've missed four months of his life. And it was not, not cool. So this little one right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a little crease in it. And I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool to put like an extra little crystal in it. I don't have any really small um, really small yellow ones. So I think I'm going to put it right here. Kind of coming up. And just freeze that in there. Yeah. See, so you can like build it however you want and just see the different things. I mean, you can always put, you know, crystals over other crystals. Like this one's laying, it's got a flat spot. So I could like put that uh, here's a flat area. So I could just put some EV resin there. Put it right here. And then sometimes you gotta go from the underneath too. There, see? Sweet. So, okay, guys. So, that's this part. Um, and I will come back and show you how it turns out after I finish all this because that just takes way too long and you guys don't want to watch all that. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, so I am back. I finished up all of the crystals. It took me forever and it took a ton of crystals. And I just filled in the spots with some acrylic diamonds. 
And I added three little yellow ones to this little cluster over here. So, I will mix up my resin and I will be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I got my crystals on. I've got my resin mixed up. Um, I am using a paste by Color Obsession called Bananas. And I added some Suncatcher in it from Lorez. It is very sparkly. I didn't like um, how pale it looked without sparkle. This is butterscotch and Indian spice from Resin Art mixed to get the color that I wanted from the Diamond Galaxy line. This one here is Color Obsessions Caramel. So, I dug out some Color Obsessions, guys. I haven't used them in forever. This is Resin Arts Blushing Lily. I needed like a a color, like a contrasting color. I thought that would be pretty with it. This is Resin Arts Tint Turmeric. This is very transparent, which will work well with the geode. And then this is just straight up um, Suncatcher by Lorez. One of my favorite powders from Lorez. All right, so let's get this party started. Now, I'm sure this is going to be a couple layers. This is the uh, turmeric tint. What I did was I had to put the powder in it and I put up some alcohol in it and then once it's dissolved and um, then you put it in your resin. You only have to do that with the tints from resin art. All right let's get these. Down here, I have never done a color palette like this. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I wanted something different besides the blues and the purples, right? So this is just clear. I'm just gonna put it over these just to help. They are stuck on. I uh, use the UV resin. But this helps. All right, I'll save some clear just in case I need it. Um, I don't know where to 
go, guys. I don't know where to start. All right, so the the transparent, this thing is totally clear. So when I take off the back of the paper, it's going to be see-through. So, um, so the parts that you can see through now, but you see the brown paper, it might mess with the colors to the eye a bit, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to run a little bit of this right around the edges here. And if it spreads out, that's fine. It'll spread with the clear. And it will be just fine. Okay, stop. Um... Let's go with the butterscotch. Next. All right. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, guys. I hope it turns out <clears throat> amazing because I spent like three hours on the crystals and it would really suck if I had to trash this piece and I don't have much left of this, so might as well put it in here. Might as well put it in. This is probably going to be a couple layers anyway, so. Unless the first layer is magnificent. Then, um, then I'll just have to do a top coat. All right, we're going in with the transparent now. This is the turmeric.
good. We'll bring this up to the edge. Okay. Just gonna make a little bit more of this. Don't wanna spread it too thin. And I have some of the liquid left, luckily. So you just it's kind of like an alcohol ink at that point. It might not be the same tint, but that's okay. Looks like it might be a little bit darker, but we will. mix it in. Okay. And that's that. Get it all to the edge. What am I doing now? I have two more colors. <laughs> Let me do this bright yellow. Where should I put it? Let me do this one first. I don't even know if I should put it in there. I'm just putting it in 
random spots because I'm not sure if I like it. Ooh, that's a bright yellow. This is going to be funky. Might as well use it, right? This will be blown out. Okay. So I have some butterscotch left here. through sorry I'm not talking guys I'm concentrating <laughs> products from different companies don't be afraid to mix companies because I mean amazing things can happen I don't know if this is going to be one of those things but we'll see what happens Um, I'm going to use my heat gun and pop some bubbles and warm it up a bit. take my finger and we are going to do some finger painting. Just to blend them just a bit. I'll move them around again with my heat gun but 
I don't want to add like a ton of heat onto this because it is acrylic. I do like the little touch. This is a little boring right here. The little touch of color that adds. It's like almost like, hey, welcome to the party. You're not supposed to be here. And it's saying, look, I do what I want, okay? I know I'm not yellow, but I do what I want. Just a bit. All right. I'm going to add some of this sun catcher again around here. And it will push some colors back. I'm not getting them on the stones. I'm getting it right next to the stones. And then I'm going to run some of it through. So All right. So I'm going to take my skewer. And I'm going to mix this clear with the sun catcher and the banana yellow. I'm just going to create some interest around the center. And then where some of these lines look really man-made, I'm going to break them up. Not that this looks like a original. What is it called? A natural geode looking thing anyway. But I do like the swirly do's. And the pops of color. Hmm. I think that looks okay for the first layer.
going to blend just a bit so there's not a whole bunch of hard lines. Okay, so I like that. I like the effect. I don't like the fact that this is seeming to be uneven as I spent a good 10 minutes making sure it was level because I have to leave this here right where it sits tonight. All right, I don't think I can do much else to it right now. probably put too much heat on it because now it's pretty liquidy. I'm going to have to watch it for a while. Okay guys, I want to bring you in on a close-up. I think that's all I'm going to do to it right now. Hopefully it doesn't all run off. I feel like it needs a little touch of this lily like right here. Just use my finger and ever so gently put that in there. Because I don't want to disturb a whole lot. Of what I got going on here. But I think that just those little featherings in there like along this line here I just want it all to kind of like blend. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm going to leave it alone. So let's take off these sticky things. And I'm going to give it a torch. Just the bubbles that I just put in it by messing with it. All right, let me come get you. I'll have to do the close-up on this table because I'm moving it. Hang on. Okay, guys. Here she is. I added a couple details. Just, um, I used the gold leaf around the uh, crystals and I used my gold leaf pen all the way around 
the edges. And then I use the deco foil pen. It's an adhesive pen and did a circle so that I could put the Hello Fall glitter from Franz Glitter and More. So that's what I did off camera, plus another a flood coat over top. So this is quite transparent. Any of the black you see through it is is the uh, black background I got. I will show you 